Uric acid is a substance with very low solubility in water. Water solutions of uric acid are suspensions containing microcrystals of uric acid. In cases of higher uric acid levels, the crystals are considerably bigger and clearly seen. If sodium hydroxide is added to uric acid suspension, dissolving of the crystals and clarifying of the solution is observed. Uric acid in water solution exists in two tautomeric forms. In interaction with sodium hydroxide, sodium urate is formed. Its solubility in water is considerably higher in comparison with uric acid due to the ionic links between the sodium and oxygen atoms. The solution becomes turbid when neutralized by hydrochloric acid. The less soluble uric acid is formed again. In humans, uric acid is the end product of the breakdown of purine nucleotides. One of the pathways for their synthesis is the pathway de novo, in which the synthesis begins from ribose 5-phosphate. Different mutations in the two regulatory enzymes in this pathway, phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate synthetase and glutamine phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate amidotransferase are the cause for increasing of their activity. This leads to the synthesis of larger amounts of purine nucleotides and, when they are degraded respectively, a greater quantity of uric acid is formed. Excess uric acid in the blood is called hyperuricemia. In a greater part of the cases, this may lead to gout. Gout is an extremely painful disorder in which, because of its very low solubility, uric acid crystallizes in the joints, under the skin, and in the kidney renal tubules. Gout can be treated using the synthetic drug allopurinol. Allopurinol is a structural analog of hypoxanthine. The two compounds differ only in the 5-atomic heterocycle imidazole in hypoxanthine and pyrazole in allopurinol. Due to this structural similarity, allopurinol acts as a substrate of xanthine oxidase and, after binding to it, as its inhibitor. Xanthine oxidase converts allopurinol to alloxanthine, which blocks the active center of the enzyme. After administration of allopurinol, the synthesis of the less soluble uric acid stops. The quantity of its precursors, xanthine and hypoxanthine, increases. They are much more soluble than uric acid and do not precipitate in the form of crystals. Besides being an inhibitor of xanthine oxidase, allopurinol also binds part of phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate, which is both an intermediate and an activator of the purine nucleotide synthesis de novo. Therefore, allopurinol decreases the total rate of this synthesis. Less purine nucleotides are formed. The reduced synthesis of purine nucleotides decreases the formation of uric acid too. Thank you